Who are you? I'm a virtual assistant designed to help you with a variety of tasks. Provide information. And answer your questions. If there's anything specific you need help with. Hey, Tuya. Who are you? I'm a virtual assistant designed to help you with a variety of tasks. Provide information. And answer your questions. If there's anything specific you need help with, just let me know. What is the best way to learn robotics? can be an exciting journey and there are several ways to get started uno online courses and tutorials platforms like Coursera edX and Udemy offer courses in robotics ranging from beginner to advanced levels this can provide a structured learning path dos books there are many books available that cover the fundamentals and advanced concepts of robotics some popular ones include Introduction to Robotics, Mechanics and Control by E. John J. Craig and Robotics, Modeling, Planning and Control by E. Bruno Siciliano. 3. Hands-on practice, building simple robots using kits like Lego Mindstorms or Arduino can provide practical experience. This hands-on approach is crucial for understanding how robots work. 4. Programming skills. Learning programming languages commonly used in robotics, such as Python, C++, or RLS. 
robot operating system is essential. 5. Join a community. Engaging with online forums and local robotics clubs can provide support and motivation. Communities like Reddit, Sarvara Diagonal Robotics, or IEEE Robotics can be great resources. 6. Work on projects. Applying your knowledge by e-working on projects can help reinforce what you've learned and give you a portfolio to showcase your skills. 7. Attend workshops and conferences. These events can provide insights into the latest trends and technologies in robotics, as well as networking opportunities with professionals in the field. By e-combining these approaches, you can build a solid foundation in robotics and continue to advance your knowledge and skills. Do you know about Arduino? Arduino is a popular open source electronics platform based on easy to use hardware and software. It's designed for anyone making interactive projects. Arduino boards are able to read inputs, like light on a sensor or a finger on a button, and turn them into outputs, such as activating a motor or turning on an LED. Key aspects of Arduino include Uno. Boards, there are various Arduino boards, such as the Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano, and Arduino Mega, each suited for different types of projects. Dos. Programming. Arduino uses a simplified version of Sebarra Diagonal C++ and is programmed through the Arduino IDE, which is user-friendly and designed for beginners. Tres. Community. Arduino has a large community of users and developers. Providing a wealth of resources, tutorials, and forums for support. 4. Versatility. It's used in a wide range of applications. From simple hobby projects to complex industrial systems. Arduino is an excellent starting point for those interested in electronics and embedded systems, offering a hands-on way to learn and experiment. Can I get the example project? It is a simple example project you can try with an Arduino, LED blinking. Objective, make an LED blink on and off at one second intervals. Materials needed. Arduino board, AG. Arduino Uno. LED 220 ohm resistor, breadboard and jumper wire steps. Uno. Set up the circuit. Connect the long leg, anode. Off the LED to digital pin 13 on the Arduino. Connect the short leg, cathode, of the LED to one end of the resistor. Connect the other end of the resistor to the ground, KND, on the Arduino. Dos. Write the code. Open the Arduino IDE and write the following code, CPP void setup. Pin mode. Tracy. Output. Barra diagonal, barra diagonal, set pin 13 as an output. Void loop. Digital brite. 13. Y barra diagonal, barra diagonal, turn the LED on delay. 1000. Barra diagonal, barra diagonal, wait for one second digital write. 13. Low, barra diagonal, barra diagonal, turn the LED off delay. 1000. Barra diagonal, barra diagonal, wait for one second. 3. Upload the code. Connect your Arduino to your computer using a USB cable. Select the correct board and port from the tools menu in the Arduino IDE. Click the upload button to transfer the code to the Arduino. 4. Watch it work. Once the code is uploaded, the LED should start blinking on and off every second. This project is a great way to get familiar with the basics of Arduino programming and circuit building. You can experiment by changing the delay times to see how it affects the blinking speed. Thank you. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Enjoy your project.